who were two teachers at the same school, both of us teaching two sections of geometry, and yet even in the same school, the variance can be so wide in how two people teach the same lesson. So our practice minimizes that difference in how we teach so the kids get a more equitable, stronger lesson. I'm Mike Fauter, I teach geometry and academic numeracy at Leadership Public School of Hayward. And here's your challenge. You're gonna be silent, you'll be right there in your seats, and for the next minute and a half, I want you to think of at least three solutions to this equation. And I collaborate regularly with my co-teacher, Rosa Zapata. My name is Rosa Zapata. I teach geometry and pre-calculus at Leadership Public Schools in Hayward. So the definition, all angles are equal. And more specifically, like Aaron said, they're all 60 degrees. And that's always going to be the case. They're always going to be 60 degrees. We're a network of four schools, and we're very much all about trying new ideas, succeed at some and fail at others, with the idea of eventually making wide-scale change in our communities. On a daily basis, our goal with the video camera, besides general feedback, is to build a library to match completely with the curriculum. And we'd like full lessons, and we'd also like to edit and code by practice or task. I try more things when a video camera's there than when it's not. Because when it's not, you get kind of comfortable in your, in your everyday trend of things, but when the camera's there, it forces you to want to do something extra, and then you see that extra thing actually make a difference. The way we create that curriculum is, after Rose teaches a lesson, we will meet, sit down, and for a minimum of 15 minutes a day, tear apart that lesson. We'll talk about the pacing. And you got through this in a timely fashion. It was really good to see the pace at which you went through all, was it six? Yeah. We'll talk about expected errors and misconceptions. And this here, with the at least, I think was um, valuable to take those two minutes. Yeah, uh, I agree. This is what they Right, mean. so in the at common least. misunderstandings, misconceptions, errors section of the teacher notes, that definitely has to go in there. We'll edit, put sticky notes all over them so we can make them better. Um, she'll give me feedback, I'll give her feedback. And that's how we continue to have the curriculum evolve and make it more precise and powerful. Teaching isn't just about standing up there and giving them instruction. It's also about developing yourself so that they go to the next level. Last year, Rose and I felt this relationship out, and we got to a point where we, we felt comfortable challenging each other, um, sometimes arguing a lot, sometimes supporting each other a lot, but all very productive. We're very open to going to each other, and it's because we have this camaraderie that took some time to form. With the benchmarks, I noticed that um, my classes were underperforming her classes by an average of 10%. And so I had to sit down and, and just look at that data dispassionately. And as a competitive person, that wasn't easy. I got into her classroom and I watched her teach a lesson. And then I went and tried to teach the same thing. And then she would come in and video me, um, give me feedback. And this give and take back and forth eventually helped me refine my own practice. I was being a little too verbose, so I wasn't getting through the whole lesson. And I wasn't... Um, getting to some of the higher level tasks as consistently as she was. And when she saw this, and I saw this, I was able to adjust, make changes, and by the end of the year, our data was indistinguishable. In order for any of us to grow and be better, which ultimately means student achievement, we need someone to tell us, this is going well and this is not going so well, here's a potential way to fix it. It's a reciprocal, positive uh, relationship where we both improve from that feedback and so this type of relationship I think is more or less the secret to our success.